guys welcome back to my channel so if you're new here welcome and if you're a third subscriber thank you for coming back so today I have a video for you guys I know I have been absent for about a week and the reason for that is because I have someone in my family that has been infected with a virus and that has caused me not to be in the best mood and not to be in the best spirits to want to sit down and film a video but today I am finally doing it because I have to be consistent for you guys and I promised that 2020 I was going to be consistent with my uploads so I have to keep it up. I'm coming back with a new video but I hope that you guys enjoy this video. In this video I just created this makeup look. It is very very simple. I didn't do any eyeshadow, any fake lashes because as I mentioned I'm not in the best best mood but I still try to do a little something something. So I just focus more on having a flawless base and focus on the eyebrows. So if you guys feel like you would be interested in seeing that, make sure to keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using a new product. This, I haven't used this on my channel before, but I have used it before, just not on camera. This is the Professional Kiss New York Top Brow Semi Matte Brow Pencil in the shade granite it looks like this is it visible yeah so it looks like this it has a spoolie on one end and of course the product on the other end i haven't done my eyebrows with a pencil in so so long but i'm kind of excited because i have used this a couple of times and it has worked very very well so i'm just going to start filling my eyebrows Okay, so this is what the eyebrow looks like so of course big big difference now I'm just going to go ahead and do this one off camera and I will be right back okay so the eyebrows are done I did my best I don't know why they are looking kind of weird today but you know I don't care I'm just going to go ahead and set them real quick so they don't move And I'm going to go ahead and start priming my face afterwards with my NYX Hydro Gel Primer. Is that what it's called? Let me see. I'm lying. It's the NYX Hydro Touch Primer, this one. I'm going to prime with this one. Okay, so now that the primer is on, I'm going to move on to foundation. Now the thing is, oops, the thing is I wanted to try out a new foundation today. I want to try out the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation. I think this is my shade. I don't know. I haven't used this before. I bought two shades. I bought two shades. I don't know which one will fit me better. You know, I will have to check for myself. Um, this one is 85 Sun Beige and the other one is number 20 Classic Ivory. I haven't used either or. So I think this one is going to be a little too light though. Yeah, I'm not going to try this one. Let's try 85 Sun Beige. It looks like it looks like would be a good match. Let's see. So at first it doesn't come off, you have to get a pump going. Come, okay. Mm. I mean that looks decent, right? Yeah, it's a pretty good match, I think. Yeah, that one's good. So I'm just going to be using this Maybelline Better Skin Foundation in the shade 85 and I just wanted to talk to you guys during this video just because I feel like we haven't talked in a while and you know with this whole pandemic going on and it's everyone in quarantine and stuff I feel like this quarantine period made me realize a lot of stuff that maybe in the back of my mind i already knew you know what i'm saying but like this quarantine period has made it so so more obvious to me if that makes sense 
also if you see me looking this way as yes, I'm looking in the mirror you guys know I'm blind so but um so yeah I feel like this quarantine period has made it so clear to me like who are my real friends like who my real friends are and just you know in general like who people are I don't know why I feel like mm, I feel like it has shown me so much and sometimes oh my god this stinks does it stink though no I put a thing on my nose oh yeah this stinks guys update on the foundation it stinks i want to try this one out because i hear a lot of people raving about it maybe it's that good but you know the smell nasty as fuck oh my god oh i hope the smell goes away because i don't want my face smelling like this the whole day it smells like oh okay let me stop being dramatic but it really smells bad though if you have used this foundation before or if you have it please let me know if you find that it smells nasty too or if i'm just being dramatic oh my god maybe is this expired or something i don't think so okay so like i was saying I feel like this quarantine period has made it like abundantly clear to me who I want in my life and what really matters if that makes sense so you guys already know and if you don't know now you know but I'm not a girl that has a lot of friends that has a big group of friends and we all go together in a bunch and all that good stuff I have never been that girl. The most that I've been in a group of friend of friends, if you can say that, is I've been in a group of three friends. So it's not really like a big big group, but we were close. But you know what? During this period that no one is allowed to go out and stuff for your own safety, I have had a lot of time to really sit and think about the people that I have in my life and you know what they mean to me and what I mean to them and what they add to my life and what I add to theirs and I don't know if this is a good match is this a good match I feel like this would be a better match if I was a little lighter but because I came back from Curacao, I'm so so tan right now. I mean, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I'm really tan. So maybe that's why the foundation is looking a little light. Or maybe it's just too light. I don't know, man. But I'm just going to bronze up and fix it with bronzer. So anyways, like I was saying, oh, before I continue, I'm going to correct with my... This is also new. I haven't used this one either. It's the Maybelline Master Concealer camouflage and concealer in the shade 40 medium and I'm just going to put this one under my eyes I'm just going to put this under my eyes okay so I feel like I have a lot of people in my life that are very supportive of what I do and that really want me to succeed and that you know have my best interest at heart and stuff but I feel like I have and I have had a lot of friends which aren't really friends in my life that maybe don't have my best interest at heart and sometimes they don't even know that and what I mean by that is sometimes you can have friends and they can be haters on the low and you know everyone says that you know fake friends fake friends they're haters it's not like that what I mean is 
I have had friends like for example I'm going to give an example of my own personal experience like I have had friends who said to me I'm not I'm no longer friends with this person because obviously the way that they are doesn't match with the way that I am and I just felt like I don't need to deal with that so I just cut them off you know we're cordial and stuff if I see them I'm, I just say hi you know hi but you know we're not close anymore but I have had people in my life that has said to me you know for example simple stuff like um, for example I can like rap music and I play rap music in the car and they say to me like oh my god like that's so ghetto like why would you why would you listen to that and I'm like oh okay you know everyone has their personal taste my music doesn't have to be your taste you know I, I don't judge you but I feel kind of odd that you would say something like that to me because I would never go up to someone and be like oh my god why are you listening to this kind of music you know if it's not my type it's not my type but that's just my opinion and I'm going to keep it to myself but you know everyone is not the same and I didn't really get mad about that I just said like you know I like this kind of music and so that continued the person continued saying a lot of random stuff to me which at the time like mind you this happened a long time ago but you know i didn't realize that they were slowly trying to put me down and i didn't realize it at the time so for example they can say something like um Oh, when I graduated. When I graduated, I got um, my bachelor's degree and stuff. And they were like, um, well, you got the best thesis award. But if I get the degree, like this person hadn't graduated at the time yet. They still haven't graduated. Now I'm less than that. But you know, that's not the point. So the person said I graduated and I got the best thesis um, award. And they said something like, um, well... You got the best thesis award, but if I graduate and I get the same degree, we're gonna get the same job anyway, so you did that for nothing. I'm like, wow. Okay, wow. Like, are you my friend or not? I just didn't get it. At the point, at that time, it didn't really bother me like that. But after a couple of after a couple of days i started really thinking about it like oh my god like why would you say that to someone it's an accomplishment to me why wouldn't you say just hey congratulations i'm happy for you you know you're my friend why can't you just say something like that so i was very confused at their behavior and you know the way that they was reacting but then i started um like analyzing their pattern of behavior and i realized that's just how they are like that's just how that person is like in the beginning when i first started uh, with my bachelor i was struggling with one course and it was just this one course that i couldn't get my mind to and this was just so difficult and i you know i was struggling with it like wait a minute in the meantime i'm going to bake my face with this new with this new powder I haven't used this one yet it's still sealed in the packaging it is the Milani translucent powder light to medium 01 it looks like this let me just open this right up so as I was saying I didn't really think much of it after a couple of days I did then I started realizing that um, this person always has negative shit to say and I'm like, okay, I'm starting to realize some stuff. So what I did was I started telling them negative things and to see their reaction. So it was like, this is for the brands. Please don't make these thingies. We have long nails. We cannot lift them. So tweezers come in handy. But, um, oops. But I started telling this person negative things and seeing how their reaction was so everyone knew i was going to come to the netherlands to pursue my studies and stuff so i was telling this person like i'm not sure if i want to come if i want to go to the netherlands anymore you know i'm doubting about it i think i just wanna 
uh, look for a job at Curacao. And this person was like, yeah, you can do that. Like, the Netherlands is not any better, blah, blah, blah. And I would say, like, um, the study that, oh, this is very finely milled. It goes everywhere. Oh, my God. It smells like... I don't know. It has, it has a scent to it, but I don't know what it smells like. This is very, very fine. This powder is very, very fine. I cannot even bake with this. When you press it, it just presses right into your skin, which is not a bad thing. It is totally not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, but I was just expecting that it would stay like this so I can bake. But if you guys see this, like when I press it in, it just blends right in. Look at this just disappears I don't know how I feel about that I don't know okay so anyway so this friend was constantly waiting for me to tell them something negative or uh, the opposite they would come to me with something negative they would come to me with like gossip and don't get me wrong I gossip everyone gossips at one time or another but the thing is, if our friendship is only based on gossip, then we don't have a friendship. It's just like we can sit around a corner, we can sit around a table and talk about people the whole day. And that's not what I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, again, I don't want you guys to think I'm a hypocrite. Like, oh my God, I don't gossip. I don't talk shit about people. I do. But first of all, I know who I talk shit to if that makes sense and second of all that's not all i want to do with my friends like if you're my friend i don't want you to hit me up only when there's gossip and only when something is happening with someone and you want to you know let me know about it oops i want you to you know think about me when good stuff is happening too like uh, for example, you got a new car. Why don't you tell me that? Like, hey, you know, I got a new car. I'm so excited. This and that. But this this friend specifically would never do that. They would keep all the good news to herself. And the bad news, she would come at, she would come with the bad news to me. So when I started realizing that, I was like, oh, okay. I see what we're doing here. Um, we're not going to do that. So... I cannot be friends with you anymore. I have to, you know, stop. So I step back. But, you know, in my life, I have had a lot of drama with friends. Not like big, big drama. But, you know, still it's a little, a little bit. You know why? Because um, I have had a lot of different friends that have tried a lot of different things. And I haven't allowed those things. And then people get mad when, when you don't allow them to come at you with their bullshit anymore. And especially if you have allowed it in the past, they expect you to always be okay with it. And when you say like, no, like this is not okay, I'm not doing this anymore, people are like... And that's not okay, like people know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? they know what they're doing and they just trying to they're just trying to come at you with all this bullshit and when you finally realize it you know the thing about me is i'm flat and you know i say things and all that stuff but when you're my friend i still have like a soft spot for my friends so when i feel like they're doing something wrong i think to myself self like nah maybe i'm tripping maybe it's just you know me exaggerating you know, I, I don't think that's true. That's that's how I feel sometimes about things. And that's not right. Oh, by the way, I by the way, I have set my whole face with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Finish Powder in the shade. What shade is this? 300 Nude Beige. Looks like this. Now I'm just going to bronze my face with the NYX bronzer. You guys have seen me use this a thousand times. It's the only bronzer that I use because I absolutely love it. But, um, so... This friend, uh, well, this ex-friend, because we're not friends anymore, 
people want you to have all those sad stories so they can console you and tell you don't worry everything's going to be okay but deep down they don't think everything's going to be okay you know they they secretly wish that everything keeps going bad for you and when things actually start going right for you they are not happy about that they don't want that they just want you to keep being you know the same old you the broke you the sad you they don't want you to be the successful version of yourself the better version of yourself they don't want that they don't want you to keep being as miserable as they are and that's not okay that's not what a friend is about let me just use my blush i'm using this maybelline fit me brush this is also new um in the number 25 looks like this and let me just oops open this up okay it looks this is the shade from the inside i think it's very pretty yeah before i put on my blush i'm just going to bake my contour and my bronzer with the maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade 10 looks like this I realized I used a lot of Maybelline stuff in this video now I'm realizing that I used their foundation their uh, this powder I've, I'm using their blush I'm using a lot of Maybelline stuff but as I was saying so I don't want to make this video too long but the thing I want to mention and I want to make very clear is that sometimes you have to watch out who you call your friends because people want you to be as miserable as they are and when things actually start going well for you they are not happy about it they don't they they aren't happy for your success they aren't happy that you are succeeding they aren't happy about that they just want you to keep being the same old you and you knowing that they have struggled with you in the past and all that stuff you never would think like oh my god this person is fake because they always have the one thing that you, they can use against you which is well in in the bad times i was there with you you know when you were struggling i was there for you i was your only friend back then blah 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 but the thing is you are not my friend just because you've struggled with me before and you know you've been down with me before that's not the only thing that makes you a good friend like that's totally not true you were there for me because you were in the same position too it's not like you was helping me or nothing you was there for me and i appreciate that but now that i'm actually you know evolving and making something for myself you as my friend should be the first one to congratulate me and to be happy for me and in life that doesn't happen like that like i had a friend that always was telling me you know you should start a youtube channel you know you would be very good at it start 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 but it took me years to start my youtube channel because i was always thinking like oh my god no i'm not gonna do it so this person knew that this person knew that i was afraid this person knew that i would probably never start my youtube channel so they always say like oh you should do it you should do it you should do it but the day i actually started my youtube channel they are ghosts they don't share my posts they don't share like the links to my videos they don't even watch the videos because i mentioned something in the video and it was like a code and you know if you know you know something like that so she if you if she had watched the video she would have noticed that and then i noticed that i had a video up for a couple of days and she didn't say anything about that so i just asked her i said hey did you did you watch that video that i uploaded a couple of weeks ago and she said nah i, I didn't watch it and i'm like oh okay well you should watch it because i i mentioned this and that and she was like yeah maybe when i have time i'll watch it okay sis okay i don't care you know but then i started realizing like wow you was all for me when i was you know procrastinating and overthinking and sad that i didn't have my channel and everything and now that i actually did it instead of supporting me and sharing my post and you know showing love you don't but those people are so fake and you know you don't have to be mad at them they don't have an issue with you they have an issue with themselves 
like there are they are their own personal issue and that's not your problem and this person is always the victim like when you tell her something it's always like oh um why you say that to me you make it look like i'm a bad person bitch you're grown up like come on and you know as time goes by you start realizing like why do i keep talking to this person why do i keep allowing this person to do this because when people are your friends sometimes what they do can hurt you oh my god eyes watering it's this highlighter I poked my eye with it by the way I'm using the Mac oh darling highlighter as always you guys know that okay so I'm almost done I just have to do my um, my eyelashes and my lips and then I'm done I didn't do I didn't do any eyeshadow just because you know I'm not going anywhere it's quarantine I'm just going to stay home so I didn't feel like doing a whole you know eyeshadow look but I will definitely have one on my channel next week so keep an eye out for that um, also I am doing a quarantine vlog I think I'm doing a quarantine vlog where I show you guys like for a couple of days what I'm up to of course it's not gonna be like very adventurous and stuff because we can't go anywhere so it's just me in my house Okay, so my camera cut off. I don't know what happened. Um, I just, I don't know. But I lined my lips with the NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle, one of my favorites. And I'm just going to go ahead and put some lip gloss on and then we're going to be all done. This look is very, very simple, but it's just because I didn't feel like doing a lot. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys for a little while. So I'm going to use which gloss? Okay, so I'm going to use two different glosses. The first one is the Kiko in the number 19. And the second one is the Essence Clear Gloss. Looks like this. So, um, let's do that. And now I'm just going to put the Clear Essence Gloss on top. Okay, so this is the final look guys. I didn't do anything special. I just, you know, focus more on the base and, you know, having a flawless base and didn't do much on the eyes. Just, I would, I just focus on, you know, eyebrows and the base. And it's just very simple. But I hope that you guys still enjoyed the video and that you are staying safe during this quarantine. Please stay inside. You can save a life by doing that. And, you know, I have seen a lot of people on the internet you know very upset that they have to be inside but you guys have to remember you are not stuck inside you are safe inside when you're inside you lower your risk of getting infected with a possibly deadly virus so please stay inside because if you get infected or if you have someone in your family that is infected like myself someone in my family is infected with a virus and that it's so so heartbreaking and it causes you so so much pain so please stay inside you can literally literally save a life either yours or someone else's i hope that you guys enjoyed the video it was very very random just me talking venting because you guys are my friends and some days i don't have anyone else to talk to so i just come in here and talk to you guys but i hope that you guys still enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and follow me on my social media i will leave my instagram on the screen and also my snapchat so you guys can follow me on both of those platforms but without further ado um, i'm just going to end this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the bell notifications so you get notified every time that i upload another video and i will see you guys in my next video bye